good morning, good afternoon, good night, whenever you will watch this video. So today our topic is a steam injector. Now steam injector is an accessory of the boiler. So we will understand the meaning of the steam injector. Now steam injector means what? That it is such an accessory or it is such a device which is used to inject the water inside of the boiler at a high pressure by using the high pressurized steam which is already present inside of the boiler. That means steam injector will not inject the steam inside of the boiler but what it will do simply it will inject the water inside of the boiler at a high pressure by using the steam at a high pressure which is already present inside of the boiler. Generally to feed the water or to insert the water or to supply the water at a high pressure inside of the boiler we are using feed pump. But instead of that feed pump, we can use this steam injector. Now, if you will use feed pump to supply the water inside of the boiler, so feed pump requires some power to work. But steam injector does not require any power to work. Why? Because steam injector requires what? It requires the high pressurized steam and which is already available inside of the boiler. So steam injector will save the power so that steam injector will increase the efficiency of the boiler. Now, this type of steam injector you can use uh, for a vertical axis boiler or you can say in the locomotive boilers. That means both of the boilers having low capacity. So steam injectors are applicable only when the capacity of the power plant is low. Now we start with the construction that uh, this is your uh, steam injector which consists two inlets so that is your first inlet and that is your second inlet so with the help of first inlet we can uh, insert the exhaust steam from the boiler or you can say live steam live steam means what which is present inside of the boiler after that with the help of another inlet we will supply the water which water that water you have to supply to the boiler by increasing the pressure after that it has one outlet that outlet is connected to the boiler so that we can supply the high pressurized water to the boiler that outlet is connected with one non-return valve so that is your non-return valve and that non-return valve can open only when the pressure of the water is high then only it will lift, be lifted in the upper direction and then only high pressurized water you can supply to the boiler after that that uh, steam injector ha has one uh, overflow pipe and with the help of overflow flow pipe whatever extra amount of water is there that will be removed so uh, achha, remaining three things are there so we have three cones inside of the steam injector so that is your suppose cone one that is your cone two and that is your cone three First cone is known as a steam nozzle. It is also known as a converging nozzle. That shape is known as converging and that shape is known as diverging. Now second cone is known as a mixing nozzle which is also known as converging cone or converging nozzle. Then after that third cone it is opposite of converging. So that is your diverging nozzle or di diffuser or diverging uh, cone also you can say and that is also known as delivery tube also. So clear about that three important cones first one is converging the second is also converging which is mixing first one is steam nozzle and last one is diffuser which is diverging cone or delivery tube. Now we'll start with the working principle. In working principle, how we'll start? That when uh, from the first inlet, steam will enter inside of the steam injector. At that time, it will enter in the steam nozzle. So when it will enter in the steam nozzle, when steam will enter in the steam nozzle, so what's happened? Velocity of the steam is increased so that at the outlet of this steam nozzle pressure drops is taken place or you can say at the outlet of this nozzle pressure is decreased so due to this suction effect is produced and due to the suction effect water will be shoved in the upper direction and mix with the steam in the mixing uh, nozzle now question may arise that if a velocity is increased then uh, how pressure is decreased and how suction effect is produced so for that purpose i will not go in detail simple example i will uh, put in front of you that uh, generally you are using one pump to kill the mosquitoes which type of pump maybe you have seen or at, you, at your home it has you have this type of pump is there and over here one handle is there so that is your handle 
and uh, this type of nozzle is there or this type of converging shape is there and below that one container is there which is filled with the chemical so when you will apply the force like this so what's happen velocity of air is increased and as velocity of air is increased at this portion at converging portion what's happen pressure is decreased so that over here pressure is less and inside of that container pressure is high compared to this so that uh, chemical will move in the upward direction chemical will move from higher pressure to lower pressure so that suction effect is created and then this chemical will be sprinkled so clear about this and opposite of this if you will take diverging no nozzle or diverging cone so what happen it will increase the pressure this portion this shape will do what decrease the pressure and suction effect is produced and this shape will do what this shape diver diffuser or diverging cone will do what it will increase the pressure acha so what we are saying that uh, from the first inlet we will take this steam and that steam will entered in the steam nozzle and after that in the steam nozzle velocity of the steam is increased but at the outlet of the steam nozzle pressure drop is there pressure is decreased so that suction effect of the water is created and water will be shoved in the upper direction so that steam and water both will mix in the mixing nozzle after that inside of this mixing nozzle steam and water both things are present so steam will cool down so steam will convert into a water that means in mixing nozzle extra amount of water is present among that extra amount of water some amount of water will be overflowed or some water will be removed with the help of this overflow pipe and after that remaining water will entered in the diffuser or delivery pipe as you know if you will consider this type of shape so what's happen that diffuser will increase the pressure of the water at the outlet so that high pressurized water will do what it will apply the force on the non return ball in the upward direction so that non return ball will be lifted and high pressurized water is supplied to the boiler so this is all about the working principle of your steam injector now i would like to end this video we will meet once again in new video with new topic based on this accessory So till then read hard work hard thank you very much